Welcome to Native Engineering. On this set of videos, we will be looking at heat, engineering science and form. Heat is divided into two parts. We have expansion and we have gas laws. On this lesson, we will be focusing on expansion. We know that when temperature of a material is increased, the material will increase in a length. And the opposite is also true. When temperature is decreased in a material, the length will also decrease. So we have this being our original temper, our original length, and this being our final length. And this portion here is our change in length. Is the length difference between these two? And this final original length and this final length. With this one being our change in length. So we call this linear expansion. Why do we call it linear expansion? It is because we are only dealing with the expansion of one side. Only this side right here. This side, we assume it remains the same. If it was one meters, even here it will be one meters. Even, he, even in this side, if it was one meters, here it will also be one meter. So, you say it's linear expansion because we are only focusing on the expansion of only one side. How do we calculate the change in length of a material? We have a formula that goes like this. The change in length is equals to a coefficient of linear expansion times the original length times the change in temperature of yeah the change in temperature so this is our coefficient of linear expansion this is our original length and this is our temperature difference which will be given by uh, change in t change in temperature it's given by t2 minus t1 And that is the formula we use to calculate for the change in length of the material. Since we said this is linear expansion, what if we now have a material like this? And now the material increase in this side and also increase in this side. That one we call area expansion it's no longer linear expansion because we know that linear is one now this is called area expansion because we will have to we know area is close to length times breadth this area this part is is increasing and also this part is increasing now we are no longer dealing with linear but we are dealing with an area of the object we will have an object increasing like this with this being our final length and this being our final length maybe we have something of this being our change in length and this also being our change in length so now how do we calculate the change in length we will say we we no longer call it the change in length by the way it's called the change in area because we are dealing with two sides. The change in area will also be given by the, co the coefficient of area expansion times the original area. The original area we know it will be length times breadth. 
and at times the change in temperature which is t2 minus t1 and this is the formula that we are going to use this is the coefficient of area expansion and it is given by two times the linear expansion two times the linear expansion will give you the area expansion the, the coefficient of area expansion and that's how we go about calculating the change in area of an object now we take it a step further we have a diagram like this now this side increase in length also this side increase in length and this side also increase in length now we are dealing with three sides we are no longer dealing with area but we are dealing with volume since we know that volume it's cubic meters area it's meter square since we were dealing with only two sides now we are dealing with three sides one two three it's no longer area but it's volume we use the same formula to calculate for the change in volume of the object our change in volume now will be the coefficient of cubic expansion times the original volume times the change in temperature the coefficient of cubic expansion is equals to three times the linear expansion and this our original volume will be equals to let's say this is a this is b and this is c will be a times b times c so before you come to this formula you have to get the original area first by multiplying these three sides this is what you are going to put here and then times the linear expansion if you are given the, the, the linear expansion times it by three and then that's what you are going to put here and then the change in temperature will be the change in temperature which will always will always be t2 minus t1 and the linear expansion it's given by it's usually a number let's say one times 10 to the power negative 10 the, uh, by degrees Celsius and this can change you can find a coefficient that is given by 1 times 10 negative 10 to the power negative 10 divided by Kelvin what does this tell us we know Kelvin it's another uh, it's, a, it's another unit for measuring temper for, for measuring heat so if you get a coefficient that is like this you must make it a point that you change you also change your, your temperature into kelvins how do you do that whenever you are given the degrees to change these degrees Celsius into kelvins you will have to add 273 whatever number you are given in degrees Celsius you will just add 273 and then you will get that temperature in kelvins make it a point that your temperature and the si unit that you are given in your coefficient of linear expansion are the same if you are given a coefficient of linear expansion that is per degree Celsius your temperature should be in degrees Celsius if you are given a coefficient of linear expansion that is in kelvins per kelvins your temperature should also be in kelvins how do we do that we have to add 273 to the degrees to get um, our answer in kelvins and if you are given your temperature in kelvins and you want to bring it in degrees Celsius 
you'll have to uh, minus the 273 so that you get your answer in degrees Celsius. So that is basically what you are going to need regarding expansion. And that's the end of our lesson.